Hey, what up? Today we're talking Chapter 13, the Endocrine System. Let's get started. So, here in the overview, we have major structures, like the adrenal glands. There's two of those. Their related word root is adrene, adreno. Their primary function is to regulate electrolyte levels, influence metabolism, and respond to stress. There's the gonads. In the male system, it's the testicles. In the female system, it's the ovaries, two of each. For the related word roots, we have gonad, gonado. And they regulate development and maintenance of secondary sex characteristics. We have the pancreatic islets. So we have pancreat, pancreato for the related word root. And they control blood sugar levels and glucose metabolism. The parathyroid glands, with the word root parathyroid, parathyroido, regulate calcium levels throughout the body. The pineal gland, with the word root pineal, pinealo, influences the sleep-wakefulness cycle. The pituitary gland, with the word roots pituit, pituito, and pituitaire, pituitero, control the activity of the other endocrine glands. The thymus, with the related word root, word root thyme, thymo, plays a major role in the immune reaction. And finally, the thyroid gland, with the word roots thyra, thyro, and thyroid, thyroido, simulates the metabolism, growth, and activity of the nervous system. On the next page, page 235, you'll have your 90 keyword parts and key medical terms. Might be a good idea to make flashcards out of those and study them for our future. The primary function of the endocrine system is to produce hormones. Because the hormones are secreted directly into the bloodstream, they are able to reach cells and organs throughout the body. A hormone is a chemical messenger with a specialized function. The major hormones, their sources, and functions are described in Table 13.1 on page 236 and page 237. Steroid hormones help control metabolism, inflammation, immune functions, salt and water balance, development of sexual characteristics, and the ability to withstand illness and injury. The term steroid describes both hormones produced by the body and artificially produced hormones used in medications to duplicate the action of naturally occurring steroids. Anabolic steroids, which are chemically related to the male sex hormone testosterone, have been used illegally by athletes to increase strength and muscle mass. This use usually can be detected through urine and blood testing. Serious side effects of anabolic steroid use include liver damage, altered body chemistry, testicular shrinkage, and breast development in males, plus unpredictable mood swings and violence. Steroid use by teenagers also stops long bone development, resulting in shortened stature. The major glands of the endocrine system are one pituitary gland that's divided into two lobes, one thyroid gland, four parathyroid glands two adrenal glands, one pancreas, which includes the pancreatic islets, one thymus, one pineal gland, and two gonads, ovaries in females and testes in males. An endocrinologist specializes in diagnosing and treating diseases and malfunctions of the glands of internal secretion. Endocrinopathy is any disease due to a disorder of the endocrine system. Hypercrinism is a condition caused by excessive secretion of any gland, especially an endocrine gland. Hypocrinism is a condition caused by deficient secretion of any gland, especially an endocrine gland. Diagnostic procedures related to the endocrine system include nuclear medicine and imaging techniques, which are going to be described later, which are used to diagnose and treat disorders affecting the endocrine system. There's also urine and blood testing used to measure endocrine hormone levels and detect the presence of anabolic steroids. The pea-sized pituitary gland is located at the base of the brain just below the hypothalamus and is composed of anterior and posterior lobes. The primary function of the pituitary gland, also known as the master gland, is to control the activity of other endocrine glands. The pituitary acts in response to stimuli from the hypothalamus of the brain. This system of checks and balances maintains an appropriate blood level of each hormone. The front of the pituitary gland secretes adrenocorticotropic hormone, also known as adrenotropin, stimulates the growth and secretions of the adrenal cortex. The follicle-stimulating hormone, also known as 
follotropin in the female stimulates secretion of estrogen and the growth of ova in the ovaries. In the male, it stimulates the production of sperm in the testicles. The growth hormone, also known as somatotropin, regulates the growth of bone, muscle, and other body tissues. The lactogenic hormone, also known as prolactin, stimulates and maintains the secretion of breast milk after childbirth. The luteinizing hormone, also known as luteotropin, stimulates ovulation in the female. In the male, it stimulates testosterone secretion. The melanocyte-stimulating hormone, also known as melanotropin, increases pigmentation of the skin. The thyroid-stimulating hormone, also known as thyrotropin, stimulates the growth and secretions of the thyroid gland. Secretions from the posterior lobe of the pituitary gland include the antidiuretic hormone, which maintains the water balance within the body by promoting the reabsorption of water through the kidneys. When more ADH is secreted, less urine is produced. In contrast, when a diuretic is administered, urine secretion increases. Oxytocin stimulates uterine contractions during childbirth. After childbirth, it stimulates the flow of milk from the mammary glands. Pathology of the pituitary gland includes alcohol consumption, which inhibits the secretion of ADH and results in increased urine output that can disrupt the body's fluid balance. Acromegaly is enlargement of the extremities caused by excessive secretion of growth hormone after puberty. Compare that with gigantism. Gigantism, which is also known as giantism, is abnormal overgrowth of the body caused by excessive secretion growth hormone before puberty. Hyperpituitarism is pathology that results from excessive cre- secretion by the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland. Hypopituitarism is a condition of reduced secretion due to the partial or complete loss of the function of the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland. A pituitary adenoma is a benign tumor of the pituitary gland that causes excess hormone secretion. An ACTH-secreting tumor stimulates the excess production of cortisol, which causes most cases of Cushing syndrome. Pituitarism is any disorder of the pituitary function, and a prolactin-producing adenoma, also known as prolactinoma, is a benign tumor of the pituitary gland that causes it to produce too much prolactin. In females, this overproduction causes infertility and changes in menstruation. In males, it causes impotence. Diabetes insipidus is caused by insufficient production of the antidiuretic hormone or by the inability of the kidneys to respond to ADH. Either cause allows too much fluid to be excreted, resulting in extreme polydipsia and polyuria. Polydipsia is excessive thirst and polyuria is excessive urination. Diabetes insipidus is not similar to diabetes mellitus. Treatment procedures of the pituitary gland include a hypophysectomy, which is the use of radiation or surgery to remove all or part of the pituitary gland, and human growth hormone therapy, also known as recombinant GH, is a synthetic version of naturally occurring growth hormone. It it is administered to stimulate growth when the natural supply of growth hormone is insufficient for normal development. The butterfly-shaped thyroid gland lies on either side of the larynx, just below the thyroid cartilage. The secretion of the thyroid hormones is controlled by the thyroid-stimulating hormone secreted by the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland. The body's ability to secrete thyroid hormones depends on the uptake of iodine from food and water. The primary function of the thyroid gland is to regulate the body's metabolism. The term metabolism includes all of the processes involved in the body's use of nutrients, including the rate at which they are utilized. The thyroid sections also influence growth and the functioning of the nervous system. The primary thyroid hormones are thyroxin and triiodothyronine. Calcitonin, also known as thyrocalcitonin, works with the parathyroid hormone to regulate calcium levels in the blood and tissues. Calcitonin decreases blood levels by moving calcium into storage in the bones and teeth. Compare with pH under secretions on the parathyroid glands.
Pathology of the thyroid gland includes thyroid cancer, is commonly first indicated by an enlargement of the thyroid gland. With early detection and treatment, the survival rate is high. Without treatment, the cancer will spread to other parts of the body. Insufficient thyroid secretion includes hypothyroidism, also known as an underactive thyroid, is a deficiency of thyroid secretion. Symptoms include fatigue, depression, sensitivity to cold, and a decreased metabolic rate. Cretinism is a congenital lack of thyroid secretion. If treatment is not started soon after birth, cretinism causes arrested physical and mental development. Myxedema is a severe form of adult hypothyroidism. Symptoms include an enlarged tongue and puffiness of the hands and face. Hashimoto's thyroiditis is an autoimmune disorder in which the immune system mistakenly attacks thyroid tissue, setting up an inflammatory process that may progressively destroy the gland. This process may cause goiter or hypothyroidism. Excessive thyroid secretion includes hyperthyroidism is a condition of excessive thyroid hormones in the blood. Symptoms include an increased metabolic rate, increased sweating, nervousness, and weight loss. Graves' disease that is, is an autoimmune disorder characterized by hypo, hyperthyroidism, goiter, and exophthalmos. Goiter, also commonly known as thyromegaly, is an abnormal enlargement of the thyroid gland that produces a swelling in the front part of the neck. Exophthalmus is an abnormal protrusion of the eyes. Thyrotoxicosis, also known as thyroid storm, is a life-threatening condition resulting from the release of excessive quantities of the thyroid hormones into the bloodstream. Diagnostic and treatment procedures related to the thyroid gland include a thyroid scan, is one means to measure the thyroid function, an antithyroid drug is a medication administered to slow the ability of the thyroid gland to produce thyroid hormones, a chemical thyroidectomy, also known as radioactive iodine therapy, is the administration of radioactive iodine to destroy thyroid cells. This is used to treat hyperthyroid disorders such as Graves' disease. A lobectomy is the removal of one lobe of the thyroid gland. This term is also used to describe the removal of a lobe of the liver, brain, or lung. A thyroid-stimulating hormone assay is a diagnostic test to measure circulating blood levels of TSH. This test is used to detect abnormal thyroid activity resulting from excessive pituitary stimulation. The four parathyroid glands, each of which is about the size of a grain of rice, are located within the thyroid gland. The primary function of the parathyroid glands is to regulate calcium levels throughout the body. These calcium levels are important to the smooth functioning of the muscular and nervous systems. Parathyroid hormone, also known as parathormone, works with the calcitonin to regulate calcium levels in the blood and tissues. PTH increases calcium levels in the blood by mobilizing the release of calcium from storage in the bones and teeth. Compare that with calcitonin under secretions of the thyroid gland. Pathology of the parathyroid glands include insufficient parathyroid secretion, like hypoparathyroidism is a condition caused by an insufficient or absent secretion of the parathyroid glands. This is usually accompanied by hypocalcemia and, in severe cases, leads to tetany. Tetany is an abnormal condition characterized by periodic painful muscle spasms and tremors. Hypocalcemia is characterized by abnormally low levels of calcium in the blood. Excessive parathyroid secretion include hyperparathyroidism, is the overproduction of PTH. This causes hypercalcemia and may lead to weakened bones and the formation of kidney stones. Hypercalcemia is characterized by abnormally high concentrations of calcium circulating in the blood instead of being stored in the bones. Primary HP is caused by a diseased parathyroid gland. Secondary HP is caused by a problem elsewhere in the body, for example, kidney failure, makes the body resistant to the action of PTH. A treatment procedure of the parathyroid glands includes the parathyroidectomy, which is the surgical removal of one or more of the parathyroid glands, which is performed to control hyperparathyroidism. The adrenal glands, also referred to as adrenals, are located one on top of each kidney. Each adrenal gland consists of two parts, the adrenal cortex, which is the outer portion, and the adrenal medulla, which is the inner portion. 
One of the primary functions of the adrenals is to control electrolyte levels within the body. Electrolytes are mineral substances, such as sodium and potassium, found in the blood. Other important functions include helping to regulate metabolism and interacting with the sympathetic nervous system in response to stress. Corticosteroid is the name given to any of the steroid hormones produced by the adrenal cortex or their synthetic equivalents. These are described in three groups, mineral corticoids, glucocorticoids, and gonadocorticoids. Mineralocorticoids regulate the mineral salts in the body. The primary mineral corticoid is aldosterone, which regulates the salt and water levels in the body by increasing sodium reabsorption in the kidneys. Reabsorption means returning a substance to the bloodstream instead of excreting it. Glucocorticoids regulate the metabolism of carbohydrates, fats, and proteins in the body. They also influence blood pressure and have anti-inflammatory effect. The primary glu glucocorticoid is cortisol, which is also known as hydrocortisone. Gonadocorticoids, also known as androgens, are hormones that influence sex-related characteristics. Normally, in adults, the production of androgens in the adrenal cortex is minimal. Instead, these hormones are produced in the male and female gonads. Epinephrine, also called adrenaline and norepinephrine, stimulate the sympathetic nervous system. This stimulation causes an increase to the heart rate and increased blood pressure, as well as the other symptoms associated with severe stress. Pathology of the adrenal glands includes Adrenalitis is an inflammation of the adrenal glands. Insufficient adrenal secretions include Addison's disease is a progressive disease that occurs when adrenal glands do not produce enough cortisol. This underproduction may be due to a disorder of the adrenal glands or to inadequate secretion of ACTH by the pituitary gland. If untreated, it can produce a life-threatening Addisonian crisis. Excessive adrenal secretions include Aldosteronism is an abnormality of electrolyte balance caused by excessive secretion of aldosterone. Primary aldosteronism, also known as Kant's syndrome, is aldosteronism due to disorders of the adrenal gland. Secondary aldosteronism is not caused by a disorder of the adrenal gland. It results from a disorder elsewhere in the body, such as nephrotic syndrome. A pheochromocytoma is a benign tumor of the adrenal medulla that causes the gland to produce excess epinephrine. Cushing syndrome, also known as hypercortisolism, is caused by prolonged exposure to high levels of cortisol. The symptoms include a rounded or moon face. CS may be caused by overproduction of cortisol by the body or by taking glucocorticoid hormone medications to treat inflammatory diseases such as asthma or rheumatoid arthritis. Treatment procedures for the adrenal glands include a laparoscopic adrenalectomy, which is a minimally invasive surgical procedure to remove one or both adrenal glands. Cortisone, also known as hydrocortisone, is a synthetic equivalent of the corticosteroids produced by the body. Cortisone is administered to suppress inflammation and in transplant recipients is administered as an immunosuppressant to prevent organ rejection in the body. Epinephrine is a synthetic pharmaceutical used as a vasoconstrictor to treat conditions such as heart dysrhythmias and asthma attacks. A vasoconstrictor causes the blood vessels to contract. The pancreas is a feather-shaped organ located posterior to the stomach. It primarily functions as part of the digestive system, and these functions were discussed back in the digestive system. The pancreatic islets, also known as the islets of Langerhans, are cells within the pancreas that have an endocrine function. The functions of the islets are to control blood sugar levels and glucose metabolism throughout the body. Glucagon, which is produced by the alpha cells of the pancreatic islets, is secreted in response to low blood sugar. Glucagon increases the amount of glucose in the bloodstream by stimulating the liver to convert glycogen into glucose. Insulin is secreted by the beta cells of the pancreatic islets in response to high blood sugar. It functions in two ways. First, insulin allows glucose to enter the cells for use as energy. When additional glucose is not needed, insulin stimulates the liver to convert glucose into glycogen for storage. Pathology includes hyperglycemia is an abnormally high concentration of glucose in the blood.
Symptoms of hyperglycemia include polyuria and polydipsia. Hyperinsulinism is a condition marked by excessive secretion of insulin that produces hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia is an abnormally low concentration of glucose in the blood. An insulinoma is a benign tumor of the pancreas that causes hypoglycemia. Pancreatalgia means pain in the pancreas. Pancreatitis is an inflammation of the pancreas. Diabetes mellitus is a group of metabolic diseases characterized by hyperglycemia resulting from defects in insulin secretion, insulin action, or both. Although these are described as distinct types, many patients do not fit into a single category, and the treatment goals are to most effectively control the blood sugar levels and prevent diabetic complications. Type 1 diabetes, which is previously known as insulin-dependent diabetes mellitus, or juvenile diabetes, is an autoimmune insulin deficiency disorder. Because of the destruction of pancreatic islet beta cells, the body does not secrete enough insulin. Type 1 diabetes is treated with carefully regulated insulin replacement therapy. Symptoms include increased urination, constant thirst and hunger, weight loss, blurred vision, extreme fatigue, and slow healing. Only one intended individuals with diabetes has this form of the disease. Type 2 diabetes, which was previously known as non-insulin-dependent diabetes mellitus or adult-onset diabetes, is an insulin resistance disorder. Although insulin is being produced, the body does not use it effectively. In an attempt to compensate, the body secretes more insulin. Type 2 diabetes may have no symptoms for years. When symptoms do occur, they include those of type 1 diabetes, plus recurring infections, irritability, and a tingling sensation in the hands or feet. Type 2 diabetes is treated with diet, exercise, and medication. Sulfonurias are medications that lower blood sugars by causing the body to release more insulin. Other types of medications, such as glucophage, metformin hydrochloride, work within the cells to help insulin let blood sugar in. Gestational diabetes mellitus, also known as GDM, is the form of diabetes that occurs during some pregnancies. GDM usually disappears after delivery, however many of these women later develop type 2 diabetes. A fasting blood sugar measures the glucose levels after the patient has not eaten for 8 to 12 hours. This test is used to screen for and to monitor treatment of diabetes mellitus. A glucose tolerance test is used to confirm diabetes mellitus and to aid in diagnosing hypoglycemia. A finger stick blood sugar monitoring test is performed at least once daily to determine how much insulin or other medications are required. Hemoglobin A1c testing, also known as HbA1c or glycohemoglobin testing, uses blood tests that measure the average blood glucose level over the previous three to four months. These tests monitor how well blood sugar levels have been controlled during this time. Glycohemoglobin forms when glucose in the blood attaches to the hemoglobin. The fructosamine test measures average glucose levels over the past three weeks. The fructosamine test detects changes more rapidly than the HGA1C test. Diabetic emergencies include hypoglycemia, which is very low blood sugar, is caused by not eating at the proper time or by not adjusting medications properly. Treatment is to raise blood sugar rapidly with glucose tablets or another form of readily absorbed sugar. Hyperglycemia, which is very high blood sugar, is also known as diabetic ketoacidosis. This acute life-threatening complication is caused by severe insulin deficiency. If untreated, it may lead to a diabetic coma and possibly death. Most diabetic complications result from the damage to blood vessels, particularly capillaries, caused by long-term high blood sugar. This damage affects the capillary beds in many organs, such as the eyes and kidneys. Heart disease occurs because excess blood sugar makes the walls of the blood vessels sticky. This stickiness encourages atherosclerosis within these vessels that slows or blocks the normal flow of blood. Kidney disease may lead to renal failure due to blood vessel damage that reduces blood flow through the kidneys. Peripheral neuropathy is damage to the nerves of the hands and feet. This can cause either extreme sensitivity or numbness. Diabetic retinopathy is a complication of diabetes that causes damage to the retina of the eye. 
One form of diabetic retinopathy is macular edema, in which fluids from blood vessels leaking into the eye cause the macula to swell. Another form is proliferative retinopathy. Here, fragile new blood vessels form the break, clouding vision and damaging the retina. Treatment includes a pancreatectomy, which is the surgical removal of the pancreas. The thymus is located near the midline in the anterior portion of the thoracic cavity. It is posterior to the sternum and slightly superior to the heart. Take note that the word part thym thymo means thymus. However, it also means relationship to the soul or emotions. The thymus plays an important role in the immune system, and we discussed that back when we discussed the lymphatic and immune systems. Thymosin stimulates the maturation of lymphocytes into T-cells of the immune system. Thymitis is an inflammation of the thymus gland, and thymoma is a usually benign tumor derived from the tissue of the thymus. A thymectomy is the surgical removal of the thymus gland. The pineal gland is located in the central portion of the brain. The function of the pineal gland is not clearly understood. However, the pineal gland is known to influence the sleep-wakefulness cycle. Melatonin influences the sleep and wakefulness portions of the circadian cycle. The term circadian cycle refers to the biological functions that occur within a 24-hour period. Pinealopathy is any disorder of the pineal gland. A pinealectomy is a surgical removal of the pineal body. The gonads, which are ovaries in females and testicles in males, are the gamete-producing glands. A gamete is a reproductive cell. This is the sperm in a male and an ova in the female. A gonadotropic hormone, also known as gonadotropin, is any hormone that stimulates the gonads. The gonads secrete the hormones that are responsible for the development and maintenance of secondary sex characteristics, which we'll discuss further when we discuss the reproductive system. Testosterone, which is secreted by the testicles, stimulates the development of male secondary sex characteristics. Estrogen is important in the development and maintenance of the female's secondary sex characteristics and in regulation of the menstrual cycle. Progesterone is the hormone released during the second half of the menstrual cycle by the corpus luteum in the ovary. Its function is to complete the preparations for pregnancy. If pregnancy occurs, the placenta takes over the production of progesterone. If pregnancy does not occur, secretion of the hormone stops and is followed by the menstrual period. The placenta is an organ formed during pregnancy that allows the exchange of nutrients, oxygen, and waste products between the mother and developing child during pregnancy. After the child is born, the placenta is expelled as the afterbirth. Human cryonic gonadotropin is the hormone secreted by the placenta during pregnancy. HCG stimulates the corpus luteum to continue producing the hormones required to maintain the pregnancy. It also stimulates the hormones required to stimulate lactation after childbirth. Hypergonadism is the condition of excessive secretion of hormones by the sex glands. Hypogonadism is the condition of deficient secretion of hormones by the sex glands. Gynecomastia is the condition of excessive mammary development in the male. And we'll look at treatment procedures of the gonads when we discuss the reproductive system. While you're here, make sure you check out some wonderful career opportunities associated with the endocrine system, such as nuclear medicine technologist or a diabetes dietitian. There's also a wonderful health occupation profile on the clinical instructor, so make sure that you check those out. If today's discussion generated any questions, make sure you ask those the next time we see each other. Thank you so much for spending your time to learn the medical terminology of the endocrine system. Until next time, be good people and do good things, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.